Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a very exciting video and it is going to be day one of classroom setup in my new classroom. If you guys are new here, I just recently moved from Washington State all the way down to Florida. So this is going to be my first classroom in Florida and I'm going to start setting it up today. We have a lot of work to do, but if you guys are new here, please make sure to subscribe. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And I have a car load of stuff to bring in. And so probably the next time you see me, I'm going to be a lot more sweaty and hot because it is like so hot today it's just so hot here in general and all of the hallways are like outdoor hallways so i'm probably gonna get really sweaty but that is the first thing we're gonna do is just move in the rest of my stuff i actually have came a few times and brought some stuff i have this car load and then probably one more of just some like bigger furniture kind of pieces to move in so anyways today i am just going to hopefully move all of my stuff in and then just kind of start like organizing there's a ton of stuff left in this classroom some of it's really really good and then there's like a lot of like paper goods and stuff so i have to kind of just like go through and organize everything and kind of figure out what is even in here and then kind of go from there so let's go ahead i'm gonna go grab all of that stuff and start bringing it in and i'll check with you guys later on all right so i have pretty much most of my stuff in i have like one maybe one and a half more carloads at my house but i have like all of my big things in here but this is all the things and so i'm like debating what i want to do first uh i think i might want to cover some bulletin boards just because I feel like that will really make the room look like a thousand times better. All of my walls are bulletin boards and I just like, I don't love the yellow color, you know? And I'm also unsure what to do about like these chalkboards. I don't hate the color, but I'm definitely never going to use them. So I'm thinking I might like maybe cover it with something. I'm not exactly sure. But um, I also have, you know, some furniture and stuff I can move around. I kind of have a plan in my head of what I want to do. But first, I think I'm going to tackle this closet. So I have this really big storage closet. Like, it's huge. <laughs> I've never had a storage closet before. Um, my old classroom did not have a lot of storage. So I think what I'm going to do first is move out all of these chairs just because then I can <laughs> actually get in here and, like, see what's in here and begin kind of like sorting everything and figuring out like what exactly is in here so that's what i'm gonna do first and we'll see where we go from there you guys it is a while later the lighting in here is awful but it is actually like 79 degrees in here i figured out there's a thermostat and i like turned it on to turn on the ac and it's set to 70 it's been on for like two hours though and it has not cooled down at all so that's fun but i have just been trying to rearrange all of the furniture and get like somewhat of a setup just so then i can kind of like see 
layout, but I'm struggling a little bit because there's a few pieces of furniture that are just like absolutely so huge that I just don't know where to put it. So I have this like little cubby thing and it's eight feet long. So it's really, really long. It doesn't look horrible here, but I don't love that this bookshelf is here and it's kind of like, I mean, I guess it's kind of creating like a hallway to the bathroom, but this will be my library area, but I don't know if that's actually going to go there. This back here is like a little computer table, so those are little computers for the kids. And then I have another cubby unit over here in this where my kids actually put their backpacks and stuff because it's right next to the door. And then I only have one whiteboard, so I have like a smart board up there, but over here, this is the only whiteboard, so I'm thinking that I'm going to use this as my small group area just so that I can like write on this. The only annoying part is that this whiteboard is not magnetic, which is a bummer. Um, the chalkboards are magnetic, so I don't know. Maybe I won't even put this here. I'm not sure, but... Um, it might be good to have like my small group table in the corner over here, but then like where do I put this bookshelf? <laughs> um, I'm grateful for all the furniture pieces, but I'm also like I don't know where to put them and then the tables for the kids are not You know like rectangle. They are like a weird shape <laughs> And so I just don't know how I want to lay out the tables so that they're like spread out enough But that they can all see the board I don't know. I've basically just been like playing around with the layout a little bit, but I think now since it's like almost one o'clock, I'm going to start on the bulletin boards just so that I can kind of like get a feel of like how much paper I'm going to need and just all of that kind of stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to start next. All right, you guys, I have been working on these bulletin boards. So I finished three of them and honestly, I feel like it makes a big difference already in just how the classroom looks. Um, so I'm excited to kind of see like how it all turns out at the end. So I'm thinking now that I've done these three, I'm either gonna leave this blank or I might go get some of the like ship flap, uh, better than paper background and I would put it on to this board and then use a different kind of border like I have some from last year that I think might look good um, and up here I think I might use a different type of border just because I feel like this is a lot of blue but I want it to be cohesive and honestly this kind of bulletin is super cheap so I really like using this and I like the color so um, I think that's what we're going to keep doing so this one is going to be a little bit more tricky just because there's like all these outlets and stuff that I'm gonna have to cut out for so I honestly might leave that one for last but this one is also gonna be kind of tricky but I think I'm gonna just make this one big board so I use less um, border and then this one as well and then that one so lots of bulletin boards I've never had this many bulletin boards my old classroom like had one <laughs> so um this is different for me i'm not sure what i'm gonna put on these boards yet but i'm gonna figure it out later but i just want to get the backgrounds up so that i can kind of get an idea of what the classroom is going to look like when it's all put together also i apologize for not like filming that much of me actually like doing the stuff i am like drenched <laughs> in sweat and i don't think it'd be really fun to put that out on the internet um my shirt like soaked so I'm just gonna keep updating you guys as we go. And then tomorrow when I come in, I'm going to get a fan tonight because this is crazy. I just like can't believe the AC is not working. I need to like ask the janitor if that's like normal or you know, it might just be a Florida thing. I'm not sure. So um, my hair is crazy. I'm like super sweaty and gross, but I'm just trying to get this stuff done so I can feel good about where we're at. Also, I started my diffuser because it is so like musty in here. Like it just smells dusty and I definitely need to get a fan just to get some air circulating in here. And I also am gonna need to like really, really deep clean like all of the furniture and like even like this is really gross. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to do like some deep cleaning before I like completely set up, but the bulletin boards themselves were fine. It's just like all the nooks and crevices I'm gonna have to really clean. All right, I just finished that bulletin board. So I have one, two, three, four bulletin boards done. And I have about 30 minutes before I need to go. 
So I think what I am going to do next is you guys are sitting on the bookshelf that I am planning to use for my library. So I think I'm going to like scrub out the little cubbies and I'm going to start putting the book bins into here. I am thinking maybe actually this is not going to work because I don't know if there's enough space for like the books inside of the bins if they like stick out a little bit. So we might have to do a little bit of rearranging, but I need to wipe this down regardless. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. And then I think that's what I'm going to end my day on because I have to leave here by three. That's when the office closes and that's when like we need to be out. So um, I think that might be the last thing I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna flip you around and see if this is gonna work. <laughs> All right, good news. I think this is actually going to work. I just put some like random books in this bin. So I think I'm gonna scrub it out and then I'm gonna start putting the bins in there and then I probably won't start the books today but I'll at least have an idea of like how many books I'm gonna be able to fit and stuff like that. And I am gonna have a rug for this area, it's just at my house. So I didn't bring it today but this will be like a cozy little reading nook eventually. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So these fit like perfectly. I'm so excited. So um, probably in the next few days I will start to unload all of my books and put them out. And I'm excited to see this little library corner come together. I'm excited to get the rug here and then I'm going to put like some stuffies that I have up here I think. Um, find some way to like display them or something. I also have a book display shelf at my house that I'm going to put out. Maybe I might actually put it up front just because then it will be a little bit different than the library but anyways whoo things are starting to look a lot better um i'm feeling much better than i was earlier today all right i'm going to show you all what we got done this very first day of classroom setup i feel pretty good i was only here for about like three and a half hours after i was finished moving stuff so i feel like we got a lot done in that short amount of time so we have so this is what it's looking like. I feel a lot better now, kind of seeing it starting to come together. So today we pretty much just tackled like a few different bulletin boards and organizing kind of like our furniture and where things are gonna go. And then the library I'm so excited about. And then over here is all chaos. So we won't look over there. We will look over here where it's starting to look a little bit better. Um, so yeah. That's the end of day one. Today and not tomorrow. 